All right, welcome back. Let's do it. Time to go to the hive. <laughs> he, he looks like all the like American Asians movie actors <laughs> back in the day. Good to see you again, sir. Go right in. Well, thank you, bouncer. The nightclub. What's our objective? Finally, speak with Tung Si Hung. If I can find him in the bar and speak to him, I may be able to locate Van Bruggen. Nice. Uh, I am authentic. 100% Gucci. That's right, Bell Tower. He's got to be kidding me. The owner of the most popular club in Hongsha has his office in a smelly old <laughs> DJ behind a booth like this. They were from the basement. You got a favorite poison? The Golden Phoenix Sling. Oh, a man of taste, are we? Excellent choice. There you go. You got a favorite poison? I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. The name is Bobby Bao. <laughs> nice. What can I get? Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah. Basement access code? Dope. Oh, the drinks are strong, all right. My pocket secretary. You don't understand. Tong's email? The new basement security code? It was on it. Yeah, sure. Everyone's swimming in profits right now and playing with their toy augmentation. <coughs> Join the hive? Yeah, it looks cool. You work here? Uh, yeah. 
You could say that. Good. I'm a pragmatic envious. Like a cat playing really? with a mouse, he likes to enjoy it with well, people's using this information. Mr. Tong sees no one to refuse to do something that's not as strong as his feed for his personal gain. No for an answer. Do us both a favor and when he's tell me where he is. And it's torn around. Mm. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backwards, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You... Smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is more than just a hacker, you know. He trained in counterintelligence. He's got forged identities, secure bank accounts, and safe houses all over the world. He's already off this island, and I guarantee you'll never find him. Being an outsider here gives me the advantage. I got backup and support that nobody else knows about, plus some resources of my own. Your boss can gain from all this, but only if you let me see him. We don't need anything from you, Xiao Bie-san. I can't believe you fell for that. Van Bruggen's no spook. He had to run to us for help. We took pity on him and found him someplace safe to hide. You came here with nothing, and now you know more than you deserve. In return, all you give me is a pain in my ass. It's time for you to go, or else. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. The only threat to Tong's lifespan is if I let you in to talk to him, and you bore him to death. Get out! What just happened? All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Here, 
Why you still have the breath to bore me? I have customers to deal with, not more time to waste. One true life, I will kill you! Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I have customers. Good thing I unlocked time traveling. Da 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 di da da. Na 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 na. Do. All right, I got this. <laughs> it's a high member is only members only club yes some of our members can't always tell the difference between mine and yours but feel free to store your things in a scary room safe if this presents a problem for you bb well thank you bb Call it a nightclub for nothing. What is that door going to?
tomorrow, Easter? That's crazy, say. Oh, there's a dead body there. shoes up there. I thought you had better manners. Don't you know to knock before entering a room? This isn't a social call, Tom. Ah, uh, you bell tower boys. Always with the funny. So, what do you want today? I'm looking for a cyber security specialist named Van Bruggen. You know him? Doesn't ring any bell. What do he do? Steal something? Let's just say he's pissed off the Dragon Queen. And so will you if she finds out you're riding him. Khan! You know, I'd never bet on a loser. Bobby, you waste a bone and meat? You there? Yeah, boss? Get a message to Van Bruggen. Capsule 301, Alice Guard and Pod. Tell him, if he stick his head out, High Young Medical is gonna chop it off. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Shoot him. Guess not.
You got a favorite. I'm like everyone. Say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already. Because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Now it's time you are leaving. Go back to your own country. There's nothing for you here. See that bodyguard over there? If you're gonna play tricks on the Guaylo, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office, downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. Ho oh, ho ho ho! How you get it done, boys?
Self detection, hell yes. Just take everything you own. Kind of cool graphics, actually. you tell me who you work for then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells Seraph Industries isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back you're still in business why wouldn't we be check the news biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days especially the ones who are making enhancements Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods capsule 301 places a rat hole Useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. That's all you get from me, Lawai. Capsule 301, Alice Garden Pods. That's where your hacker is. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. So I see this guy laying on the ground in Al Alpina. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a rumor. Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... 
difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Oh, sure. What's the money? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip so she could understand her client's needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes. But it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. You got a f Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to get mad at the hat. This has nothing to do with you. Keep moving. Access granted. You will die. What? I have an idea. Again, sir. All right. right in. Let's see if they're hostile or not. Who are you? Hey, man. And I want to go in there. Charles. If oil my car.
Da, 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 da. Electronic device with its carry level above one will not be hackable until you upgrade your hacking augmentation. Forces located in the city halls will not only sell you goods and weaponry, but also buy from some of you. Well, thanks. Thanks, Jeeves. AskJeeves.com. you need but well, sir sir i appreciate it i don't think i need this automatic unlocking tool anymore uh i'll just hold on you to make him. me poor So I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. Access granted. One down, two to go, my friend.
Access granted. Good. Second relay is down. Only one remaining. <laughs> You're still here. Starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And... I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yuzhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Are they already? Uh, oh, she's inside, hey? Right? And there it is. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit! Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tong's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, taxman. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tong doesn't run a buy-now-pay-later operation. It's more like a buy-now-pay-forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the arg. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. How much are they asking from you? A couple hundred credits every month. Doesn't look like much, but in the long run, let's just say they made a very lucrative deal. Especially if you consider I'm not their only client. Couldn't you work without the augment? You wouldn't have gotten into so much trouble if you'd played by the rules. Play by the rules? Let me tell you a little story about playing by the rules. I come from a poor family. My father, my mother, my two sisters, and three brothers, none of them ever amounted to much. 
when I tried to do better, when I made efforts in school, they said I was wasting my time. I got into business school, and again, they said I was wasting my time, that I could never compete with all those rich kids and their tutors and extra classes. But you did. I did. I finished top of my class without the extra help and special attention, only through blood, sweat, and tears. And then what did my classmates do? They cheated. They once again bought their way to success. And what did my family say? That I had wasted my time. I was just supposed to accept defeat after all the efforts I've made? No. No way. How did you meet Tom? The same way most people end up meeting Tom. I was hurt. And one of his hounds smelled blood. They came to me and offered me help. I was intelligent enough to know it was a bad idea, but angry enough not to care. What the hell? Listen, maybe I can speak to one of Tom's men. Try and get you off the hook. You would do that? I, I thought you were just another one of his mindless thugs. No, homie. It it's hard to properly express what this could mean for me. Don't thank me yet. I can't guarantee they'll listen. But I'll try. This Bobby Bell. I told you. I need to. Th How did she get inside the building? They let people inside the building now. You got a fee. Hey, how about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. This woman, Jaya. Tell me again what you want from her. Only the money she owes. Pay me. I know the place. Had to get into it. Second times. Like you said, this is a nest. You see. What's it gonna take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. 
I want to know what it's going to take for you to leave her alone for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? Tell you what, Kuailo. You give me a year's worth of payments and she's free. Five thousand. You're too kind a man. A fine specimen of humanity. Here's your money. Now you better leave her alone. Don't make threats you can't enforce. But yes, she's off the hook. Here's the Praxis kit we promised you. It's top notch, so have fun. Oh wow, you gave me two Praxis kits. Walls, take out multiple cloaking. I'm going to increase my carrying capacity. I want Typhoon, don't really need Typhoon. Whoa, look at all that stuff I can carry. Wow. I could talk to her. Uh, I don't want to talk to her. Yeah,你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们的时间。你在浪费我们
and no air conditioning. Broken. We got air vent to ventilate the place though. It's not so bad. So, how long you want? One month? Two months? And no air conditioning. Broken. We got air vent to ventilate the place though. It's not so bad. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Access grant. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust mm. me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Beta? Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. 
Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive <laughs> to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Moving in? It's not the best place in Hingsha, but at least it's affordable. I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing evicted. Will you sign? Hey, you know where? Maybe. You may want to check out. Throw that away. Contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation. 
The cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify our own. Well, she gets off. So much you change your lay line. Okay, but I swore. But many tell Tang Hai make Hyman now. What's the dog? Yo, so I have a kind of man. Oh, yeah, put the machine out. 告诉你，我雇了那么多的房租，到最后还要跟其他十二个笨蛋家伙共用一个浴室。这个地方有很多地方跟那个天牢啊没什么不一样。那你打算找房东谈谈还是怎么样？然，怎么你的声音听起来很沮丧呢？我连着五圈都赢，还不郁闷才怪呢。Wanna play some mahjong? I wouldn't mind sleeping in here. Tell her to leave me alone. <laughs> Where's your road in that? I mean it. How we expected to live in place like? Translator module. Hey, I'll help you solve all your problems. What, girl? You can see up there. I'm tired. I'm a little bit tired. Yes. Ocean temperature through a combination of ion seeding and geothermal management. 
Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that the Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the camp for ourselves? As soon as the installation... <laughs> Energy bar, hell yes. Loser? Why'd you call me a loser? What do you just drink with me? I'm pie. Not sure if I've been over here yet. Yo, it's awful. God damn. It is pretty kind of awful. Look what you got, baby cakes. Oh, exploding rounds? Hold on, revolver? Whoa. Damn. Will do, sir. Is there a basement? I feel like there's a basement. <laughs> Why would you suggest that?
Peekaboo. I see you. Oh, like an easy way to get out, huh? If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, log on to Reporting to you live from Pikus. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have. Ah, another visiting tourist. Trying to see the real Fuja, yes? Well, here it is. Take a good look. They so angry, bro. So the guy in Jesus, are you not getting enough dick in here? Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. But this place has so been smelling like sardines. You look for person, right? No other reason for a stranger like you to be here. Maybe look for someone else who not belong? There, is there someone that does not belong? Are you visiting Alice Garden Park? I've been visiting for almost two years. Be what I tell it to the hot That sounded wet. Stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperature through a combination of ion seeding and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people. I just don't understand how a city can grow to a point where there can be so many people. <laughs> Many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation 
location is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with Hugh Darrow, log on to the Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You at Serif, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Was decision I ever made taking that gig? As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Damn, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru. Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Damn. Tell your medical man. They're here. Banner, I want that hacker dead. You gotta help me, Jensen. They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to retract from the release date.
many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, Daryl, log on to www.pikasweb.com. This is Eliza Cassad. stairs are millionaire Hugh Darrell has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. Here's what the man had to say. My visit was related to the project which has consumed all of my attendance. Night night, fool. As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, Daryl, log on to www. It doesn't happen. 
happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to retract an earlier statement. Millionaire hero. Good thing this is a hotel. Here's what the man had to say. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pencea project, the collaborative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth Seeker's fear is in some ways trouble about it. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best part of the doing what I will do. Time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperature through a combination of iron sea. Forgive me, Mr. Dinner, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risky than you can do. When we search every corner as soon as the Log on 
Keep looking. Sweep this place clean. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pegasus. Keep looking. Sweep this place clean. It doesn't happen often. contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. So Here's every the corner! My visit to France was related exclusively to the project. He wakes up. Our best part of doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal management. Forgive me. Big guy.
God damn it.
God dang it. Malik. Get yeah. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Thai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. 
That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Taeyang shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. This is Ben Tower business. Back off. Okay. What happened though? You shouldn't be here. Get moving. How can I help you? Keep to the credit area. Ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance of doing this is to modify it to a combination of iron ceiling and geothermal management. <laughs> You look here. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which had been You speak English? You speak English? I have been waiting for a long time I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I know Finally, it's going to happen. What we can Finally, it's going to happen. This is going to take me place. They will do anything. This is a city that's 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 a city that's
Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, right now. Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Here. Come on now. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, you're not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You... you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything <laughs> to get you that file. Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. You... You... You scoundrel! You'll regret this... Someday. You just... You just mock my words! See you later, X. I never should have trusted you. You... You westerner. All right, man, it there. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. The next rule will be infiltrating Tao Young Medical. All right. Bye bye.